name is Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com and what we're going to do, I'm outside again. Um, I am going to carve this, this is round one of a Santa Claus holding a, a couple of birds, a couple few birds. Now see so the good news is that, well the good, good news, bad one. We're gonna, I'm going to be using the same size birds. Birds look a little large in this first round version and so what I did is I'm making it a little larger and like I do with a lot of my other carvings is that I would go yacht round one and take and make pictures and change them and alter them now his head is turned and he is listening to the saw that's outside like I said we're outside I think this is going to be just a bit actually I think I made this a little bit bigger than I did extend it a little even bigger than that again the patterns when they're done should be on my website my favorite word is should and uh one of these little birds here is the as a good center. All right. So, oh, this piece of wood kind of has a little anomaly. Let's hope that it's not too deep. Uh, he's a. This is a Santa that's going to be wearing a um, a sweater. Nice, nice little sweater design. There's some snowflakes. Now the thing that kind of did not go. I was trying to bend the head. Uh, the, the problem with this one was I, I didn't bend the head far down enough and so I could uh, put in, put the eyes looking down. That's what kind of goofed up here. So round one, let's go round two. This time I'm going to make sure I did bend the head pretty much this time. Took the Photoshop and bent it. So let's start penciling. I hope this is a good one. It feels a little heavy, so eesh. I hope that we got a good piece of wood here. Um, oh, speaking of the piece of wood we got is a, I am using a eight and a half long. And three Three by three, I think it's a three. Well, it's a little thinner than a three. So let's go two and three quarters depth with three, maybe just a tad bit of three. But three will be good enough as it's width. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to open the arms a little more. See, that's what I did. I gave, <clears throat> I gave a little extra width of the arm. Now what what he's going to do is he's got one arm one arm hand is closed just holding a bird where the other hand this is going to be the this is going to be a little difficult is open with bird seed and um, so let's get started we want to get to where the arms arms are now he's going to like I said we'll do a little more give a little more we can always shape it later same here even though his hand is going to be a little more flatter I'm just going to give a little extra wood here and according to my pattern which I've kind of goofed up a little bit the center is almost the same it's just I got more on top and more on the bottom actually a little more I wanted to have a little more pants a little more legs on this one all right so about let's go about here And on the other side, zip across. Now, I want to have, uh, since his hands are close to his body, you know, try to use as much to keep as much or not, uh, have, have a large block of wood uh, where you'd have to cut a lot of this off and waste a lot, or you could later on is just make the sleeve here and then drill a hole and then you get another another piece 
and stick the hands out, you can do that too. I wanted to do this a little more simpler. Or I'm sorry, this should be back. Because we need as much as this. Because if we're going to have a fist here, therefore. Now there's a... Uh, Here's something going on behind me, some family thing, but I think they were still working on their on their wall, making one of those privacy walls. Same with this side. I want to use as much as we can here. We, again, we can always cut, but I just want to get a feel for what is happening here. So it's good to hear some outside sounds. The wind is it's kind of a little breezy, not totally, not too much breeze. Now the head, I want to figure, because here's where, where the head is going to tilt. And therefore, the hat is going to be, uh, I'm going to have more hat on him than I did with the other one, that, that one over there. And the head is tilted towards this or if you want you can tilt the head this way towards him uh, the bird on the seat all right so when we do this uh, 90 degree angle make sure it's turned and even the head is down the the beard we're not gonna have too much of the beard because because uh, the beard can still bend a little bit when he has his head down and so we want to do that as far as the pants and the feet now the feet might be a little too big I put this little twist here uh, turning out not twist to turn Yeah, it's good to hear the sound of children doing something. You know, usually any other day you'd like to shut the window and turn the air conditioning off and not listen to that, but boy, I'll tell you that chainsaw is really going. And so what's going to happen is that the sweater is going to be about here. And this one, this, this part is pretty easy. This is more like rounding off. Um, I think I gave a little too much wood here. We want to bend this way a little bit, or bend cut. But I want to kind of start. Let's get started. See, that's what I did. Is I put too. Uh, <coughs> I like to give an extra wood when I saw. Okay, now the fun is about to begin. In fact, I want to. Pull the chair back a little bit, pull it, oh, there goes my, one of my patterns. <clears throat> Put the right hand glove on, my chisel glove. First we'll start off with, it does feel a little stiff. I think this might be a stiff one, I'm not sure. We cut all of the pencil marks, or around the pencil marks. Like I said, give as much of this as we can. Always shape, fix later, because that's what we're doing is we're roughing it out. Make sure we're slim. Here's my little marker to make sure we stay in there. And I did have a chance to go out and do a little bit of fishing yesterday and it's a little warmer than I thought so my arm is really red. But I did put some lotion on my... oh there it goes on my face and all that, but I neglected to put it on my arms. Shame on you. All right, big chisel. Let us begin 
cutting away. Like again, we're, we're cutting with the grain, so it'll a lot of that will chip out of there, so be careful. Gonna start working to get you out of there because there's gonna be a lot of a lot of this going on here. Get this started getting the corners off. Watch the grain direction. Kind of sounds like the red green show out here. I mean, not from Canada, but it's one state down. Sounds like we're at somebody's cabin or something. Start rounding out. That's what I like to, like I said, I, the first things I like to do is really round out. I'm not interested in just one, you know, just one leg or one arm when very starting out for the first time you want to just get i like to get all of the um, sharpness off so it's more easier to handle oh there's our neighbors kids coming out there looking at the birds just i just want to round this a little bit because we don't want to push this in too much right away. Now I want to gouge a little bit of this out. Not too much because, well, of course it is going to be a lot of, a lot of taken out of that. <laughs> okay, I start the rounding process a little bit. Okay, let's start the getting rid of process. I wonder how we can move this around. I mean, I, I got there's too much shade here, but I hope. Go a little bit this way. Which way is no shade? out it does kind of feel like a heavy piece of wood but I want to be careful on this side I'm gonna keep try to keep a little bit of the this figure right now because I think I'm not sure how big I want him can start in on to get more off on this side because and it's always one thing that's difficult about doing these videos is trying to keep the wood in the camera I mean if I do this on my lap I have I'm more graceful right now I'm just gonna gonna feel like I want to hold out there because I want to make sure that uh, I got enough for the um, for the beard this I could start rounding a little bit this I want to keep keep turning the head Get that head turned so therefore on this now this side I am going to uh, since the head is going to turn away well we're outside again sorry the camera shut down um, right now we are uh, it's a little cloudy out here which is uh, more decent ambient light 
but we still have the yeah, all the uh, it's a little later so all the people from the uh, the riveting people the riveting people the jackhammer people are gone I believe uh, and uh, I don't know, pretty soon the kids that are in front of us will be coming out shortly. So let's get going. Where were we? Let me put my right glove on. And, excuse me, let's start with the, the uh, shoes here, or the boots. There's no shade. There's no direct sunlight either. Let me scoot up a little more. Make sure we are inside the, the picture there. Fingers out of the way. Yeah, this is a deeper thicker, harder wood here, denser, so I'm trying to say. And that, when I get, let's put Santa Claus down there, and hopefully that'll take care of. You know, it has a, a color, like this is maple, but it is basswood. And that's either the redder the wood, the harder, I guess. I got a squirrel behind me that is not too happy about something. I don't know, is it me? So we're shaping the feet and legs a little bit. Now what I also want to do, I was get on this side here, I forgot this half of this boat here. I'm carving, I'm, I'm carving with my wrist, so I'm not you know, even though it's kind of towards me, it's not going to hit me. I mean, if my thumb is in the way, the other thumb is in the way, then I'll, I'll, I'll hit my thumb. And the chips are starting to pile up already. So I'm going to get up here a little more up here. Yeah, this is, tis the season to be making a lot of bouncing noise and putting a lot of energy in and taking wood off. Here comes the crows. Now what I want to do, after I give this a little clean here, I want to thin the boots a little bit. Now they're starting rounding them a little bit. Let's take a side my sharpener. Let it help. <laughs> I'm just going to take the saw marks off. I always like to leave an extra wood for the boot. For the boots. But since this is turning out to be a hard piece of wood, I'm just only going to thin it a little bit. Let's get this kind of started. It's up to its crotchal area there. Yeah. So this is a video showing you how to deal with a hard piece of wood. It's not that hard, but again, the reason why it's a little difficult for me is I'm holding the carving out. If it was on my lap, it'd be a lot easier and it's kind of hard to, to hold and demonstrate at the same time. All right, I'm gonna thin the legs a little bit. I wanna just a little bit, I know they're gonna be thinned. So I'll do that and round it at the same time.
So I assume that as you're seeing this, that the pattern to this is up online, so you might carve out a lot of this or cut out with your bandsaw a lot of a uh, good chunk of this. I think I might need to take the knife to that. I can't swing that around. I'm going to have to go the wrong way here for a while. Wrong way meaning really chipping it off instead of having clean chips. The shoe is always the hardest. We got to put a lot of that energy. Now the bean, this is going to, he's going to have a sweater on and so come up to his behind so it'll be, that's a sweater. Sweater line, probably a little lower. Let's go a little lower. And so the behind will be a little bit like this because it'll kind of come around a little bit. And it's only, it's a little, I mean, this is, I'm, this looks like way too much, but at least to know it's in that direction where the crotch area is always at an angle. And I think that almost mostly disappear, but. Sort of like this, just to round it, just to so it doesn't look like he's got legs that go straight up. Same here. Sort of the opposite shape. So am I still in the, yeah, I'm still in. So you got around, around the bottom. Now I think, again, as we get into the knife, we'll be smoothing that out and taking a lot of that out of there. I think the knife would be quite easier to get in on some of this stuff. Well, that sounds like the neighbors just came by and the one, one's behind us. Kids are usually quiet, but... Oh, well, that's the neighbor across the street. The neighbor that's got the big Doberman. He just barked a little bit, or she, when I tried to sit down. What happens is that uh, then she sees she sees something moving or hears something, and then she'd bark, and then she'd see me, and then like walk away like, oh, it's just you. So yeah, thanks a lot. All right, I think we will commit to the sweater being down here. About here. And that'll be about here. So we're gonna keep that as the sweater. Now I'm gonna go around, take another chisel or different chisel inside there. I think this would be, it's another number nine. It's a bigger nine. Pop some chips out is the main thing. Yeah, this is a lesson in how to carve birch. <laughs> how to carve maple. <laughs> I want to see if playing with the knife will kind of help out a little bit here. Going back to the pants here and we still in. You know what I think I might want to do 
instead of boring you with all these details and, and rounding off. I'll just show you a little bit. I was thinking about shutting it down and then doing it and then come back. Because I don't want to bore you with any details here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of clean up some. I'll just show, clean up this with the beard, clean up the hair, head a little bit. Um, like I said, this did turn out to be a hard piece of wood. I'd rather get it shaped. And I'll tell you what I did. Like, see when I come up here, that's going to be really heavy. Stuff like that. I think that's what I should do. When I come back, it'll be it'll be roughed out, and I'll tell you all that I did. So what I did is I <clears throat> I took some time off and to clean this a little bit. We'll work on it a little more. It's probably the time to take the knife to it and start cleaning and start shaping the arms, separating from the. Um, arms from the beard. Now here I want to leave this a little a little extra down here because he's turning and, and the beard will turn with it a little bit. And you can see I started in one of these put the ball in and what I did was I penciled in I wanted it on this side because as his head is turning there's, of course, a lot more wood over here, so that's a good place to put that. So I just, I just got it started kind of more um, committing to that. And, of course, uh, we can take and start cleaning that out a little bit. What I did was I took the, a V-tool, I penciled that in, I penciled that in, and then I V-tooled it, and then took my big chisel to it to, just to get it started. And by putting the knife down, we'll kind of start cleaning it a little bit. Uh. You can make the ball as big as you want. Uh, another thing, if you wanted to, if you want to leave extra, is uh, sometimes I would like to put an extra, uh, like a gold thing here. So the, the, the hat goes here, and this goes straight. Straight in, and the, you can do that. Have that extra little, I think I'll do that. I don't want to do too much detailing right now. Just enough to commit to stuff. And then the hat, where are you? The hat goes in. Just to kind of keep things going. The ball has got around a little bit. It's going to kind of round out a little bit. Again, it's really chippy right now. Uh, that's why we're still kind of creating sort of a sort of half a rough out kind of a thing. And then you start cleaning up the saw marks off, at least that for now. Because we still got some hair that's going to come around. Now, what I also did, let me clean this a bit first. It's kind of bugging me here is I started in rounding the behind a little bit where the we'll get that to the legs later I just want to get to the head and with a little bit of the body here and then perhaps a V tool that will separate the 
the hand and the arm, pardon me, hand, arm and the, the back of the sweater. Do that, get that started. Because once we uh, def define the difference between the arm in the back and the arm in the front, then we can start rounding. And taking one of the things you can do is take the saw marks off and do a little bit around, just a little bit of rounding, some shaping, because that's going to really be changing up a lot. Like I said, I like to take those corners off. But let's get back to the head a little bit more. Because the head, what I like to do, excuse me, is kind of get the head situated the way I want to start putting pencil marks down so I know where the head is going to be. And then start putting some pencil marks down where the, how the sweater is going to be. And then I like to start from the bottom up. Really get into the first shapes. But like we said, we want this towards this bird. And we want this down. So what I do, especially when penciling and when you're going to start, um, start carving, but at least get to know what's going on. Like I said, we're going to have a bird here. It'll be the other way around. So there's the bird, so you see what he's looking at. See, he's looking at that bird. And when you have this going, going on, you can see at this angle, this is, to me, this is proper. And there's the nose, and then there's the face. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna make sure that we got that eye we paint that eye down. That's one of the things I screwed up the last time is you always, let's say you got your eyes here. And let's say he's gonna be looking at this. You always put pencil in, there's where the pupil gonna, gonna go. This pupil is, the eyes might be a little cross because it's close up. This pupil, remember that this is a round ball and this, you look at it, because he's going to look at it like this. So this is going to be maybe a little farther over. And then you start painting the, the, the iris around there. First you put the paint white. I always like to paint white. I wasn't paying attention with that one. I got the head turned, but... That's what I want you to figure out. I want you to see this. So we can see the head, how the head goes. The head is going to be going down. Let's, I think I'm good with the head because then there's the band. Yeah, that's going to be pretty decent. If I were to make the nose here. Now the nose might, instead of it going straight down, it's going to have to, since it's turning, I start carving like this. So now straight down to me means it's going to go up but like i said i'm going to leave that now i just want you to think about that when we start we start curving this all out see now when you look at it this way the head is starting to turn down okay i'm going to take a, a break here and let you catch up like i said there's a lot more like i said this is really tedious stuff because i'm going to be cleaning all this stuff off and it's going to be more of a pain in the you know what uh before we leave what i like to do is like i said i'd like to put this in this is uh, a detail usually people put at the end but i like to put it while we're roughing out because like i said before is that it would round now we can round to that now remember, this hand is going to be flat. This one's going to have some bird seed. Now that once you put that in there, now you can see what's happening. As opposed to this, what are we going to do? Well, same thing. So I'll put that in, 
and start rounding it. Like I said, this is going to start rounding, but I'm sort of going to be taking a lot of weight, a lot away from there too, as well as, well as this is going to round. And I'm still... Now what's going to happen too, again before I go, make sure you understand, we want to keep, for now, wherever you, you move the arm around, we want that... Um, we want that beard coming in like this. We can shrink it as much as you want. And then we can have the sweater here so you can see he's got a sweater. And again, this can go, now this will go as far back as you want, as deep as you want. The hat, like I said, we're gonna be cleaning. If you're still cleaning, I'm just showing you, you can clean that and come back. Now the hat's gonna be kinda, I'm going to have it come a little bit almost straight because the thing that I goofed up with that other hat, like I said, uh, I wasn't, I was, think I knew what I was doing, will be more straight. You could still have it coming back a little bit because if his head was like this and you had his hat come back, so if it's forward, you, let's, we could still put that hat back a little bit. We still want him to have his head forward. Like I said, we're probably going to end up cutting a lot of this off. I'm just going to show you. We'll come back to it. So I just want you to see this as we're roughing out. Let's see. I hope I was in when I did that, did I? Like I said, that's where we're going to put the hat line for now. We'll just think on it. When we move the shoulder, when we shape the shoulder and arms, the beard is going to come with it. And if we're going to shrink this, the beard is going to come with it or thin it. Here, the same here in this area right here, as we shape this, the hair is going to come with it. The hair is going to be on. We're going to make this simple. I mean, you can make it a simpler. Uh, what I did before is I, I did a simple. I guess I wanted to show more of the the tufts, or what do you call it, what do you call it at the end of a sweater. But that's going to mostly disappear because I want to make this a little easier and of course that's a harder piece of wood, I probably could. But this one here, there, there's more to it where we can put the beard down and around, but there's going to be more. The way I have it here, if you go all the way down, you have no sweater. But here you go all the way down, you have some sweater. But this is going to shrink a little bit too, so this so this can come down. Or if you want to have a short beard like this, so you can show the sweater, you can do that too. So either which way is good. I mean, if you got a nice piece of wood, you probably could do that. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll be back shortly. Mm -hmm. 